Hey, greetings, programs, and welcome to Alloy 7 Plays Unturned. Very excited to bring you guys this series. This is a game that I played many moons ago and then finally got back around to playing after I'd seen some updates had been made available on Steam, so I downloaded them, and now I'm about to get me a raffle where I can do all kind of damage to people, but I'm not going to yet because I want to get access to more gear, if I may. It's actually a really fun game for how simplistic it is. I very much enjoy it though. Uh, it was very parochial and basic the first time I played it, but I spent some time with it before shooting this particular episode and found it to be really cool. Like they've added some very nice things to it. Uh, the spaces are much more wide open. There's cool looking rocky clouds. I think when I played it before, it only had, or maybe I just experienced a nighttime version. I don't remember seeing anything in the daytime like this. And we're in the wonderful land of Washington State, specifically Tacoma, and then you can get to Seattle at some point. I'm not sure where it is because I don't see it on the horizon. One of the things I found interesting about playing this game is a person who's been to uh, the Seattle-Tacoma area. Uh, it was actually really dope that there's like a military outpost where all the soldiers have been turned into zombies, which is cool because Fort Lewis is actually in that area home of the 2nd Infantry Division, if any of my soldier buddies are watching this, uh, and also one of the Ranger Battalions, can't remember which one it is, but yeah, Fort Lewis is also a big training base, I actually went there for some training many, many years ago, uh, so yeah, you can see these soldiers here next to the tanks and the downed Humvees, don't want to, I can't bring myself to shoot those brothers though, you know what I mean, I can't do it, uh, but the, the thing that I find interesting is not just that, but it's that I've never seen Mount Rainier in this game like that's a huge and I mean huge landmark you can almost see it from everywhere in Seattle and you just don't especially like if you're out in the woods like this here you can definitely see it one of the things that's also interesting is that the trees mirror the style of trees in the Seattle Tacoma area but they're not as tall like this tree literally there would be no foliage right here at least in the places where I was the foliage would start probably at the top of that tree and then the tree would be, you know, four times as tall as that. So kind of cool. I mean, it's a video game. They're not trying to replicate exact reality here and I'm not criticizing it. Just pointing out some cool things about the Seattle Tacoma area. I actually did not expect to get a rifle this early in the game. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to go down once we get into, you can see the space needle there in the distance. Uh, there's also an icy, I think, Yukon area, and then a place called Pei, P-E-I, that I've not heard of or been to, at least not to my knowledge, in real life, if it, is, if it even is a real life place. We'll get to those areas as part of this Let's Play series. This is really just, you know, I say in a, a lot of times in the gaming series that I do, now, now that I'm getting back into doing them, it's really all about us as friends hanging out and playing games together. So I encourage you, get involved in the discussion. Get in the comment section, talk about stuff. Tell me things that you'd like to talk about on the series. It doesn't have to necessarily be related to the game at hand. It could be about anything. Because for me, video games on YouTube is all about the opportunity for me to hang out with all my homies and all my home girls. You know what I mean? So get in there and let's make that happen. So I, I say all that to say I don't know how many episodes we'll do. I imagine we'll do this as long as we're having a good time. But I do want to showcase for you the different areas, the different zones you can go to. Got a tomato. That's got to be delicious, doesn't it? Like he, he goes gangster style with the rifle. <laughs> That's too cool. Love I love the simplicity of the design. Like there's no texturing. It's just straight gangster blocks and circles. This should be some type of canned cola. I, I like it though. Like the aesthetic for me, it works. I want to start shooting stuff, but then again, I don't because I don't want to draw zombies to me. So as much as I've got the zombies leaving me alone, I'm going to continue to uh, go around here. And I can show you as I pull my mouth away from the microphone here. I have on no pants, so I'm bucket naked plus a sweater. Um... And then I've got food and all these slots where you put your stuff. And once, you know, these slots fill up, depending on what size these things, you know, what size slot the items take up, then you're done. You're done picking up stuff until you drop something. Very intuitive play. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Don't really need to pick up too much more glue, I don't think. Until I'm ready to get to some crafting. 
didn't get very far in the game the first time I played it. So some of this will be playing blind, figuring things out as we go. But that's, to me, that's half the fun of the game. That's half the fun of a Let's Play is you and the player discovering a game together. And then me being able to share my thoughts as I'm experiencing them. I think it's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Is that another? Is this something I can actually pick up? Ooh, duct tape. Always got to have some duct tape on the scene. Don't worry. We're going to get into some gunplay here before the show's over. Don't you worry your little head. I just want to get as much supply as I can get. I need to let my stamina regen before I take off running again. I wonder if I shoot the gas station, will it explode? That's That would be hilarious. Get some more duct tape. Got the hammer. Got another hammer. Can I get some pants, though? There's a lot of coats out here. Ain't no pants, Jack. How you not gonna have pants? I desperately want to shoot the gas station. Nope, that didn't do anything except get the zombies coming after you. Dang, this dude's fast. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How are you not dead? Alright, don't need to reload yet, but these guys are quick. I didn't expect him to get up that quick. Headshot, baby. Holla at you. Here comes his boys. Angry. Gotcha. I don't want to waste all my ammunition. That's that's why I usually hold off on shooting stuff. I'm real salty though that the whole gas station didn't explode. Like haven't they seen Goat Simulator and like Just Cause? You just show up and blow a whole place up with one gunshot? It's the way it's supposed to be, ladies and gents. You better believe it. What is that? Yellow flare. Getting a lot of gear here. Flashlight definitely going to come in handy with the flashlight. Let's get a... It didn't let me jump right there. Is it because I have no stamina? Is that why I can't jump right now? Or is it just doesn't want me to jump at this particular spot? Okay, no, it's just a stamina thing. Let's go to the pizza shop. Got to be food there. You don't need no pizza. They got food there. Actually, I'm tripping. How have we not gone... You know what? Let's save the Space Needle for a later episode. Kind of build to the suspense of going up into the Space Needle. If you even can go into the Space Needle. The suspense that I'm working on right now, though, is can a brother find some pants? That is the key to success right now. Is me running around not buck naked with a sweater on. Who doesn't come to this world of zombies? Who doesn't come here without... Like, who doesn't come here with pants on? Who is who is that? <laughs> oh yes, no, I must, I must, I must pick this up. You, you don't understand. Whatever I have to drop to get this is going to happen. Drop it, and then we're gonna pick up the raffle. And then usually every time I come to the gun store, I get to pick up all kind of ammunition. Ammunition? Yes, I said it wrong on purpose. Uh, definitely want that magazine. I don't. I don't need no pistol. Look, look at this thing I'm currying, man. Look at this weapon I'm currying. Now I need to drop some other stuff so I can get the barrel of ammunition. Definitely drop glue, but that's not really gonna help us. Let's get rid of the golf club because I got a hammer. We'll be all right with that, right? Of course we will. Got military grade ammunition. We're ready to go down to business. Wish this thing had like an ACOG scope. <laughs> that would be dope. But you know what we can do? ACOG scope or not. We can drive a fire truck and run over some zombies. The driving could use some loving. It's not quite where it should be. That's not that's not accurate. It's fine. I just wish I could turn better on a dime, is what I'm really trying to say. It's not a critique, it's just a personal preference. I needed to needed to specify that, because there's inherently nothing wrong with the driving. I just stink at it and wish it was a little bit more easy to control. So it looks like we've come to the residential area, ladies and gentlemen. If you look to your right here in Tacoma, Washington, you'll see the zombie army driving through the neighborhood of Alloy 7. I wonder if I just drive around the city in a fire truck. Oh, easy. This is the wrong way. Please run this dude over. Did he just get in the truck with me? Got him. He's not dead, though. 
get him. There it is. Going backwards definitely does not go as fast as forward. Forward. That dude fall out of the sky. What's happening here, man? It's a crazy place. See, I want to drive around and just run over zombies. That's what this whole show is going to be about. Is runoverzombiemode.com. Oh! <laughs> and I landed back on my feet. That is too dope, yo. I mean, now you can see why this game is, is so popular right now. And one of the things I can't believe I forgot to mention is the fact that this game is totally free, by the way, friends. Can't believe I left that part out. So we're going to kill this dude, and then we're going to jump out, let the fire truck get on with it. Now, hold up. Where is my rifle? Why is my rifle not out? All right, I'm still learning the controls as well, but I feel like I should still have a rifle. And I do, but... I gotta get to safety so I can figure out how to pull my rifle out. Maybe it's the one button. It is the one button. Turn around. Pop. That's one. Come get you some, G. Bip. That's two. I mean, it's dope, man. And, and they actually drop stuff when you kill them. It's pretty cool, too. Let me turn the corner. I am a sharpshooter out this joint. I love how the space needle is only like 60 feet in the air. <laughs> and I mean that I'm not being sarcastic like this game is funny to me it's just well done very well done so as I was saying I'm not sure how many episodes we'll do we'll do it as long as we're having fun I want to show you some of the different areas things of that nature we'll break different places up into different episodes stuff like that we'll have a good time that's the goal is to make sure that we're continually having a good time with that said ladies and gents thank you so much for coming out for this particular episode of unturned with alloy seven plays can't thank you enough for coming out can't thank you enough for subscribing i believe in having a positive impact on all the lives that i reach with this channel if that's something you believe in would love to have you subscribe so that you can see more of my ridiculous antics. Well, also, one of the things I didn't mention is we'll up the difficulty level. I think in some of the episodes, I can show you what it looks like on easy, show you what it looks like on super hard, things of that nature. Anyway, friends, until next time, till all are one, my name's BC. This is Alloy7. Thanks for watching. Be excellent to each other because we are stronger than I. God bless you guys, man. I'll see you on the next episode.